so here comes uh, Steve Rice clapping music. Do you want to explain how this works? Yeah. You mean how the piece works? Yeah, how this, how this. It's the same, you get the same, one measure of clapping is the same, and then the one, the one clapper stays with the same rhythm. <laughs> is that what you asked? <laughs> Each eighth note is going to be offset by one eighth note. It's going to come back around at the end. So you'll know that it's, uh, oh boy, I screwed it up. No, he calls it in phase and out of phase. We start in phase, we become out of phase. We're, playing, we're, we're clapping the same rhythmic values just at different times, and then we come back into phase again. <laughs> crossing the Texas-New Mexico border at this point. I want to personally thank this group of people for putting on the show completely without my help at all. <laughs> I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. I, you know, I almost died thinking I was going to miss this. I was so angry. I don't, you know, it's become very important to me on a personal level. And I hope you all feel the same way. And I hope you yeah. keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. David Dunaway, who's written a book about Pete Seeger. It's called, How Can I Keep From Singing? The Ballad of Pete Seeger. The quote, he says, if Pete Seeger had an ultimate message, it would be something like, make your own art, make your own culture, be your own kind of fool. And then he, he says, he encouraged people to sing together because, as Gar Arlo Guthrie once told me, once you open the singing door together, you open the listening door. <laughs> that was really nice. So it's got that dual purpose of the singing, but then I think it sees right. It really sharpens your ears in a great way. So you gotta sing, long and short of it. business of silence. It, it's, more with, it's more inner. Because it, it's very seldom, there aren't even very many places left on the planet where true silence exists, i.e. where no, there are no overflights by planes. You, you know, in an urban environment, you've got to live with it. So it's actually a, kind of a good exercise. The more noise, the better. It's still internal silence. We honor that for two whole minutes. I saw on the internet today that Leonard Canario, who's a, quite a well-known concert pianist, died yesterday. He said, according to his biographer, uh, quote, you have to play for the people, you have to play for an audience. You can't just go in the studios and make records. So we're really here, and you, I think you're here, you know, to fulfill that purpose for us, because we really need you badly to, you know, to, to have a full career. You can't just do it alone in a room, or even in a recording studio for that matter. So I thank you personally for coming.
Thanks for coming. Wow. Well, are there any empty seats? No. Please have no more than this come. <laughs> no less. That's the problem. I don't even want one empty seat because we got to make this go and it has to be full. You know, I never would have dreamed that it would be full because let's face it, most arts organizations, they're struggling to get people in. I'm, I'm in the futures market. I try and figure out how much I'm going to make and I write checks accordingly to all the dollars. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll give you the range. I've made as much as 400 bucks on top of it for one session. And I've made as little as 50. But I have not lost, so I haven't lost heart. I've never lost heart. I turned 50 last week. and self-control will improve with maturity. <laughs> I'm sure he is an excellent student with many interests. Carelessness in work detail and poor citizenship have shown its head this period. Oh my God, I'm nine years old. I'm being accused of poor citizenship. I have to wonder. And the sad thing to see my father's signature. I'm going to sign off on this. Thank you. 